Hi, Bill here. Today we'll be reviewing Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. And here it is here. There's a figure here. Finally got it. It's from Kapow Toys, which I didn't pre-order. There it is there. You can see it's a opening. They've done away with the plastic coverings. It's just an opening. Uh, this has been reviewed to death in many other channels, so yeah, I'm obviously one of the last ones to get this figure. Not the last person enough to get it, but certainly towards the end of anyone that wants it is to get one. Um, getting it because Kapow Toys is that slow getting these things in and distributing them. So, but it finally came. I'm doing my review, regardless of how many reviews of it are already out there and for how long, I don't know. But there it is there. You can see there it's... It comes with a... Although that isn't silver, it's black. It's silver in the picture, but it's black in the actual product. And same with the gun, it's black. I don't know. I would have liked it to be silver and same with the gun, but... It's black, actually, and uh, from other reviews I've seen of this, it's black. There you go, there, there's a side shot of figure, and back to there. Of course, you can see it's a Cybertronian saucer car mode, uh, and it's got these uh, rods it comes with. So, there we go, there's the top, bottom, that's it. So, without further ado, let's get this thing opened up and see what we've got. And here he is, out of the packaging. Looks pretty cool. And like I said, the jet pack is black, not silver. And so is the gun. There's his gun there. He com comes with uh, five rods. One, uh, one, two, three. Ah, he does come with five rods. You can't hold them in his hand. You just have to tuck the arm around it and hold it that way. I've seen other video reviewers do the same. You cannot hold He's and it cannot fit them through the fist holes. So it's just he has to tuck, tuck the arm around them, and it holds them that way. Okay, so but I like to see the figure up close. It looks really cool. The thing I like about it is the fake Volkswagen uh, bug uh, chest and the Vol Volkswagen bug um, feet. Although it doesn't have the uh, headlights, the there <laughs> it's missing the headlights. But it does have the, you know, the Volkswagen bug, uh, that section, and passenger and driver section, and it has the front bonnet, uh, uh, but with it missing the headlights, obviously. But yeah, it does have that, which it probably, which he did in the original uh, cartoon in the pilot episodes, so he still had his Volkswagen bug you know, parts and robot mode in Cybertron before he even came to Earth. But so it's pretty neat it shows that. It actually still has, it retains that, so that's pretty cool. Right, articulation. He's got back. He's got up and down movement there, rotation in the arms, up and down in the elbow. The fists just go back and forth, they don't rotate. The head, I don't think it rotates. I don't think it actually moves at all. I don't know. Oh, it does. It does move. I apologise, it does move. So it, 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 it's up and down. It's an up and down. Must be in a ball joint. It's really stiff there. It, goes right, it can go right round. I'm not going to take it right round, but it can do. Uh, legs, go right Fold that much, can bend at the knee that much. Uh, don't know if it's ankle tiltage. Ah, there is. There's, there's ankle tiltage. There's ankle tiltage. I don't know why this thing likes to go out of focus, I don't know. And they can go far back that far. So there we go. Can it do the splits? Probably. Uh, not quite. Oh, it's got an upper rotational bit 
a mushroom peg at the upper part of the leg as well so it can rotate there as well okay so it probably it can't do the splits because the kibble gets in the road if you move the kibble out of the road it probably could do the splits so it can do the splits there it is there and there we go so that's that you can get into some sort of good poses I uh, don't think it's what well, it does have if you move the kibble out of the road it does have um, but it's really for transformation purposes it does have waist rotation although it's off centre you see that it's really off centre but I think it's for transformation purposes to turn them into saucer, saucer car mode but you have to move the kibble out of the road the, the back kibble okay I think that just lives in there like that it doesn't actually clip in anywhere I don't think it just sits back there right to, obviously there's a big hole in the back you've seen so that's where the jetpack lives if you want to attach it you can do just get his jetpack and attach his gun to any hand and there he goes well if his hand it does tend to flop Okay, this gun is rather stiff for some weird reason. I'll try the other hand. It doesn't seem to want to go in that hand. There we go. It goes in that hand. So there we go. That's him. Got his jetpack. And got his... There we go. That's it. Right. Rods. Like I said, the best way to hold them is to get the arm round like this. Oh, I forgot to do the arm rotation. The arm actually goes right up like that. And get them to hold it. You can maybe hold a couple. I don't know if you can hold all five, but you can get them to hold a couple like this. I'll probably just hold one or two. In fact, I'll probably just hold one. But you, you put them in like there, there, like that, and you can get them to hold some like that. Well, they're going to slip out. You're supposed to hold it like that anyway, although it's not, it's not very good. It's not very good, but there's a way you, you can tuck the arm in to hold it. It's, it doesn't hold it through the fist. Okay, it's not the best. It's not the best. And that's a way you can put them through and you'll actually hold them. You can maybe hold them like that. It's really isn't the best. Because it just keeps slipping. There. It's the best I can do. He holds them like that. But they do keep slipping out, so that's it. It's not the best. Like that. Okay, so that's basically what you're aiming for. Just tuck the arm in and hold them. I don't know if you can get all five in one arm or a couple in each. I don't know. It's up to you. But that's the way they show it in the other reviews, is just to get tuck, tuck, tuck them under the arm, basically. And maybe you can get them in a better position than I did. But that's it. Okay. Right. Size comparison. Here is a uh, weaponizer. Six, six gun. Six gun is obviously, obviously a lot bigger. So he is very small. It's Bumblebee. So he's obviously kind of Legends class size. And I think that's Deluxe. I think it's Deluxe. It might, might be. It's not Voyager, I think it's Deluxe. Obviously that's small and Deluxe, so whatever the scale down from that is. Legends or Core Class, as you would say. Probably Core Class. Although it is a lot bigger in, in the saucer car mode, I believe, from what I've seen at other reviewers. So it's, it, is, it does get bigger. It just It's very small looking in this. And it's very big. And uh, um, it looks bigger in, in, in the vehicle modes, but... 
that's them next to uh, uh, six gun weaponizer right i've got to show the instructions there it is there the instructions are there it shows it all there oh and you can put the I don't know why you want to, but the, you can put the jet pack on the roof of the vehicle and you put the little... Although it only has one um, weapon, it'd be cool if it had one either side. It looks a bit awkward with just one there, but it became good if it came with two and you could put one either side to match up. But anyway, that's it for that. Let's get the thing transformed up. Right, let's transform them. So, first thing what you do is unhook that from the back, flip this bit forward, make sure it's right in, don't have it sitting like that. Make sure you bring that forward like this, so it's right in. Okay. Then lift this up. Lift this up, bring it above the head, and have it like that. Okay, leave that there just now. Tuck the fists in, straighten the arms, right, and rotate this bit. And rotate the fists in. Now, there's tabs there, and there's slots in there. There's tabs there. They just fall into place. And there's a tab there, and a slot there. It just falls into place, really. You don't need to... You might need to move things around a little bit. It should just all fall into place when it moves into the, these positions like that. So that falls in there. That just there. You might have to, so you might have to move things around a little to get it all lined up. But it should just roughly fall, fall into place where these tabs and slots are. That's that done. Again, out of focus. Right. <clears throat> now for the legs Oof, they are tricky right it's a little bit fiddly it's not tricky it's just fiddly so you move that out like that move it up there like this do that with the other foot move it down and move it back and straighten it like that okay untab that from there it tabs in hold on Move that out the road, it does tab in, there's a slot there, tab there, it tabs in. So when you're doing the reverse order of this, that, that's where it goes, it tabs in. Okay, so move that up. Move that up. Right, this bit, this is where it gets tricky. Open that out. Open that out. Like this. It's on a kind of weird hinge thing, so you move the hinge forward and you move it forward like that oh, it just comes off it it's supposed to move it forward like this then you slide hold on you slide the foot forward there's a tab and a slot there tab it on and that's that one done that's like that okay same with the other side Move that forward. Again, it comes off of there. You just put it back on. Move it there. Move the foot into position. Tab it. Like that. And there we go with that. Okay. Now, this is a tricky bit. You move this whole section down like this. It's on a swing hinge. Like this. And these just tab in the front there. And that's the front done. The front of the, the, the saucer car. Okay, so the, this is the tricky bit. This is the tricky bit. You want to move that forward like this. Move it in like that, 
because you're basically folding where the knees are, the legs, and like this. And you want to see that bit there, you want to tab it underneath that section there. The lip goes under there. And then just straighten it like that, and that's that side done. Do that again. You want to move all this forward like this. Try and keep that straight up. From, it's not easy to see. Try and keep that bit straight up from the back and then fold it in because that's got to be right back. Okay. And then you want to tuck that in there. Again, tuck it in, straighten it and straighten it up. And tuck it in. Make sure it's all tucked in nicely. If you can. Everyone's all together. Straighten everyone out. And there you go for the saucer car mode. Looking really neat. Uh, one thing doesn't have any wheels underneath. That's the one thing. It doesn't have any wheels. And there's no actually a uh, hole for... Oh, there's a tiny hole there for a stand where my thumb is. So if you've got a stand, you can put it on a stand and have it flying. Okay, so that's it there. There's a saucer car. Looks really neat. I do love it. I love how, you know, it resembles that G1 pilot episode uh, saucer car. But you could have it as a flying saucer. It's a wee spaceship that flies. Actually, it resembles... It exactly resembles or close to resembling, I don't know if any of you remember Voice to the Bottom of the Sea television series, the flying sub, because the flying sub was this shape and took out the water and like that. The flying sub was also that yellow colour as well, so it kind of resembles the flying sub from Voice to the Bottom of the Sea from Sea View. You know, it could actually take out the water and fly off, and it was this yellow colour. And it almost had that shape to it as well. Right, uh, weapon storage. You've got these holes at the side there. You can put it in there. Of course, the jetpack goes where it was in the robot mode, which is on here. On the back. Like this. It does look stupid having that there. Why would you have a jetpack on it when <laughs> it, it's a little... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Or you could have it that way. There could be a couple of weapons. You could actually pretend these are not jets, but actually we weapons. Big couple of big cannons. You could have it that way. I don't know if it's actually that way. And, and the instructions hold on to see. No, it's it's the jetpack way. It's, it's the other way around. I had it. It's showing it. But you could you could have it that way. I mean, it does look like a couple of giant cannons that way. So. A pity didn't have two guns, one could, you know, be put on the other side as well. That's a pity. Or you could just have it like that with a giant uh, cannons on it. So it's firing. But there we go. It, 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 and the instruction, it, it does show it this way. Why you would have that, I don't know. It's it's weird. But anyway, it's, it's your toy. Do with it as you please. But... I'll just unplug that, but yep, yeah, that's cool, and that's neat, and there's all the little bits for it, he's got his rods, he's got his, he's got his gun, okay, oh, size comparison, I'll just do uh, six gun again, and his weird spaceship mode, there's six gun with bumblebee there, okay, so I'll quickly get it back to robot mode and actually I could just do it on camera, couldn't I? Yeah. What is that? 20, so all you do is unhook this, do that. Uh, oh, what you do is unhook this and fold it over. Unhook this and fold it over. Move them out the road. Move them out the road. 
Um, unhook the legs from underneath, like that. It should come all away. That way, what it's supposed to. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and there you go. Unhook them. Break them out. Straighten the legs. Straighten that bit. Hook this bit onto there. Tab it onto there, like I said. The feet. Have it that way and straighten it. Do the same with this side. Straighten the leg. Straighten that bit. Straighten. Have the feet that way. Rotate it around and collapse it in. Tab that onto there. And fold this over there like that. One's actually got a bit loose with that one. This one's not so bad, It's the other one's a wee bit kind of loose. It's a pity because it has a tab sitting right there. Right, where my finger is. I'll see if I can bring that in. There's a tab there, but there's no slot to put that tab into it. It'd be cool if it could just tab that on there and just hold it, but there's no nothing. There's absolutely nothing there to tab that onto, which is weird because it would have held that in place because when this one's very loose it, it could do with it being tabbed on but you can't do that so there we go right lift out the arms lift them right out like that now these don't tab on they're very stiff there's just friction but the, I don't know if they'll loosen up over time you might have issues because they do not tab in anywhere. Take out the fists. There we go. There's the fists. Um, unhook this from the back. If I can get... Let me think. There we go. Un put it right back so you get clearance to push this bit forward. Like that. Again, it doesn't tab out. It just sits there. And bring that down and of course you'd bring this down and you bring this up and put it there that's a fake chest section now you rotate this round and there we go nearly there you have that like that you have that like that you rotate them you have that like that, you can ankle tilt it if you want and that's him back in his robot mode, now I've never done it from a baby before you know on screen, but since it's such a small figure I thought I would do it, give him his gun I'll put it in that fist because the other one doesn't seem to have a problem and you can maybe hold a couple of rods, I don't know if he can Try and put a couple of rods in there if you can. There he is. He's, hold, he's holding a couple of rods. Okay. That's him holding a couple of rods. So there he is back in his robot mode. Looking re really neat. So that has been Transformers. Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. Um, now, everybody's asked already, is there going to be a wheel jack? We don't know. Obviously, since the first review of this came out, since it's been a while now, there's been no word of an Origin uh, wheel jack. So, we don't know if we're going to get one. We hope we do, but we're all hoping for one, but we don't know if we are. It's been some time since the first one of this came out and you can go back and check the reviews and the date of that review of whoever it was. It's been out a while, this figure. So I know I'm getting to the review now because that's just when I got it from Kapow Toys. But um, yeah, there's been no word on an origin wheel jack for this. So I don't know if we're going to get one or if one's coming. Now, there is one other thing they could do with this. 
because I think Mass Toys, third party Mass, double, M double A S Toys, did a, a, a version of this and they did different colours. We haven't seen this mould in different colours yet. You could get Bug Bite, you could get Gold Bug, you could get uh, different colour versions of it. I think there's a blue Bumblebee in the original G1. You could get that. And, and a blue colour, Mass Toys did a blue one and a white one and whatever, so you could get different colours of this mould and have it reused that way, have a bug bite, have a gold bug, whatever, but so far, again, there's been no word of such things, so you can only hope that this, this, this mould is reused in different colours, you know, like bug bite and gold bug and whatever, or maybe even... Um, Original G1 origin cliff jumper because basically was cliff jumper not similar to Bumblebee in a, in a sort of funny sort of way. I know it was supposed to be a red one of this, but um, he just used the same similar same or similar kind of mold. So, but way back then, so um, they might get that. I don't know, but we'd have to we'd have to wait and see. Because I don't think we ever saw cliff jumpers Cybertronian mode back then the G1. Uh, thing we so we don't know if it looked the same as bumblebees or not we don't know but anyway rambling that's me so no plans nothing planned coming up that I've ordered although unplanned there could be things depending on my job situation and finance finances situation if if everything goes all right then I might get some a three D printed something or whatever. There's a few 3D printed things, items I want, but that all depends on finances and my job status. So, depending on what happens there, um, I may or may not, but these are unplanned. That's not planned stuff. I don't have anything planned that's coming out So that I'm getting. So, that's it. If, if nothing, just keep checking the channel to see if I've got anything. Like I said, I don't have anything planned, but unplanned. If things go well then but of course I've said it before in the previous video and I can't stress enough it's the postal service Christmas postal service you're gonna get delays 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 so if I did order then it may take time to get through and it may not arrive before Christmas depending on how when it was I ordered it up before Christmas you know to when it come when it appears depending where it comes from is it from the uk is it from abroad i don't know so there's that okay so just check but i'm not guaranteeing there's going to be anything up before christmas and new year but that's unplanned but planned i don't i don't have anything that I'm, i've ordered okay so if i don't have anything then i don't that's me uh have a good christmas and new year and hopefully oh, there's items I want. There's a uh, 52 toys, you know these things that turned into the cubes? I've got the Iron Man one there. Uh, you've seen one of my previous videos a while back, 52 toys. There's, I think it's Dr. Wu's doing a Trypticon version of that. It's all, all the modes, but it also turns into that cube thing that 52 toys seems to do. They have little characters and figures that turn into these cubes, so... I've seen one of that, but when it's coming out, I don't know. I'm definitely hoping to get that. Again, depending on finances and all that, don't. Um, it's not going to be Prime versus Prime. I'm not going to be getting it first, so don't expect me to get it earlier first when that thing does actually start shipping and arriving. So, But when I can afford to get it, I will definitely get that Trypticon that turns into the cube as well as all its other. Uh, trips coin modes that it does so definitely getting that but don't expect it early like prime versus prime or anything like that okay that's all i'm gonna say um but apart from that that's probably next year so obviously i'm not we're not going to see that arriving before christmas it's next year that will be for that thing I think it's Dr. Wu that's doing it. That's, it seemed to be Dr. Wu. But anyway, uh, but that's that. But I've said what I've said. I'm rambling on. It's nearly 
20, nearly half an hour of this video and that's me so again have a good Christmas and New Year and keep checking in case I send on plan that like I do decide to get 3D printed stuff or uh, my finances are okay and my job situation is okay and I managed to get something but planned wise I've got nothing unplanned there's always you'll just have to keep checking okay I'm not guaranteeing there's anything coming up video wise but unplanned if everything goes well there might be but okay so just check on occasion now and again on the road up to Christmas and over again with the postal service could be delays so that kind of hampers when videos go up to okay if I did get anything that is right that's me rambled on enough so I've said all I had to say <laughs> I'm not going to keep repeating it half a dozen times. That's me. Right. Thank you. Bye for now.